the wild, they catch a monkey by putting a beautiful nut inside a little box. So the unbeknownst monkey goes along, peeks in and sees the nut. And he squeezes his hand through the little circle or hole. He gets his hand in and he grabs the nut. And then what happens? He tries to pull his hand back out, but he can't. And he stays there pulling and pulling and pulling until the hunters come along and catch the poor little monkey. Now, why am I telling you that story? Because all the little monkey had to do was let go of the nut. And when he didn't have his hand in that tight fist, he could release and squeeze his hand back out the hole. My message for you today is that sometimes maybe you also behave like that monkey and you hold on so tightly and so hard onto old beliefs and old ways of behaviour because you think that there's something good to get out of it when instead it's keeping you stuck. So there's a phrase that says, what you resist persists. And what I mean by that is, the more you try to hold on to something, sometimes the more you actually keep yourself in a negative situation. There are better ways for you to feel and to think. All it starts with, as we said before, is your awareness. How about trying something different, like getting out there and stepping up and stepping out of your comfort zone, maybe slightly, doing something a little bit different than what you've been doing, like talking, like speaking, or maybe even simply just addressing your own emotions and just feeling them. A way to do that if you're feeling anxious is to simply imagine yourself nearly floating up and looking down on your body. And when you look down on your body, instead of being in it, the overwhelm and the anxiety is lessened. So have a go of that in your own time. Next time that you're feeling a little bit anxious, find a place that you can sit in the privacy of your room and Imagine yourself literally floating up and then just look at it and look down on your body and see what you're feeling. And what you'll find is that the feeling isn't as strong because now you're disassociated, you're detached rather than in the bad feeling. So that's one way. Another way is by realizing that Instead of me saying that everything is going to go perfectly, is realizing that there may be challenges. There may be moments that you find hard. And yes, there are going to be moments. But instead of hoping that there's never going to be those moments, it's about you finding the resources within yourself and realizing that you're strong enough, smart enough, clever enough, able enough to overcome those moments. So like when you walk down a road, when you go for a walk with your friends in the woods and a street, there's ups and downs, there's twists and turns. That's the way life is always going to be. There is always going to be those little hills. But you know that if you keep going, when you get to the top of the hill, there might be a nice little bit of a downward run. So it's the same with your life. Instead of hoping that everything is going to be perfect and easy, instead find the resources within yourself and plan in advance what you're going to do about them. Plan in advance, say to yourself, if this happens, then I'm going to do this. Because when you start to plan, you're using your mind much more beneficially. You're, instead of just reacting, you're choosing and taking the direction of your life, rather than just allowing your life to take over you. So, I hope that helps and what I suggest is that you continue to plan and dream big and you'll notice a better destination.